I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about improper integrals. In problem number 47, we'd like to evaluate the integral from negative 1 to 1 of ln of y squared dy. All right, the first thing that we need to do when we're taking this definite integral is we need to recognize that it is in fact an improper integral. Uh, and the way that we do that is we see that, well, ln, it just do, you just can't plug in all these values into a natural log. What types of values can you plug into a natural log? Positive ones not zero. Zero doesn't work. There's no ln of zero. But this ranges from negative one to one. Zero is a problem. So we really should break this up into two integrals from negative one to zero and from zero to one. But I'm going to make life a little easier on us and I'm going to say, oh, wait a second. If I plug in a negative value here, I square it. And if I plug in a positive value, I square it. So it doesn't matter if I'm plugging in negative values or positive values, I still get a positive value right here. In other words, this thing has some sort of even symmetry about the y-axis. Okay, now, since this is kind of an even function, what I could do is I could rewrite it. Since I see that it's symmetric, I could write it as it's just two times the integral from zero to one of ln of y squared dy. Alright, so now that I see this, this makes it a little bit easier in that uh, the improper piece is on the bottom and is one of my limits. Now I could write this uh, improper integral as a limit, so let's do it. I could say this is 2 times the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of integral from a to 1 of ln y squared dy. Now something I want you to notice is that because of the power rule of logarithms, I have ln of y squared, that 2 could come down in front of the natural log. If it comes down in front of the natural log, I could bring it through the integral. And constants pass through limits, so I could bring it all the way outside completely. So let's do that. Let's bring the 2 down, I'll bring it outside the integral, I'll bring it outside the limit, and now we just have 4 times the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of the integral from a to 1 of ln y dy. Now, how do I take the antiderivative of ln of y? I know the derivative of ln of y, but I don't know the antiderivative of ln of y off the top of my head. So a good choice might be let's use integration by parts because I know this thing's derivative but not necessarily his antiderivative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say let's let u be ln y, so dv will just be dy, du is 1 over y dy, and v is just y. Okay, so let's rewrite this thing using uh, integration by parts. So I still have this 4 times the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of, now I'm going to put a big parenthesis because I'm replacing this integral with its uh, integration by parts form. So I get u times v, so y ln y evaluated from a to 1 minus the integral from a to 1 of v du. Well, y times 1 over y is 1, so I'm just left with dy. Okay, let's rewrite. I have 4 limit as a goes to 0 from the right of 
Um, now I can plug things in on this one. I get If I plug in 1, I get 1 times ln of 1. But ln of 1, of course, is 0, so that's just 0. Minus, if I plug in a, I get a ln a. All right. Uh, so that part's done. Minus, the antiderivative of 1, of course, is just y. So that's y evaluated from a to 1. Okay, let's plug that in real quick. So I still have 4 times the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of, uh, what do we have here? We have negative a ln a minus, now we plug in 1 and we get 1, minus, plug in a, we get a. Now we're ready to take the limit as a goes to 0 from the right. Okay, as a goes to 0 from the right, it's pretty clear that this guy is 0. Alright, so this one is 0. But what about this guy? I've got a ln a. Well, if I plug in 0 for a, I get 0. If I plug in 0 for a here, I get ln of 0, and ln of 0 is kind of like negative infinity. So I get like a 0 times a negative infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So I need to use L'Hopital's rule here. But to use L'Hopital's rule, I really need to get it in a, a little bit different form. So let's do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to write this as 4 times the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of this time I'll write it as negative ln of a on top, and on the bottom I'll write it as 1 over a. So I haven't changed anything at all. Uh, that's kind of hard to see. Let me rewrite this here. So this is 1 over a on the bottom. So I haven't changed anything, but now the form is on the top I've got negative infinity, and on the bottom I have infinity, so it's ready to use L'Hopital's rule on. What's left over here? Just a minus 1. All right, so let's take that limit now. Uh, if I do, I still have 4 times the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of... Uh, negative, the derivative of ln of a is 1 over a, and the derivative of 1 over a is negative 1 over a squared. And then I still have this minus 1. So the negatives cancel. <clears throat> I'm running out of room here, so let's just move right over here. I'll erase a little. So what I want to do over here is let's flip and multiply. And what I get is I have 4 times the limit uh, as a goes to 0 from the right of, once I flip and multiply, I have a squared over a minus 1. a squared over a, that's just a. The limit is a goes to 0 that's just 0. So what we're left with is 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. And that is the value of our definite integral.